the machine that could earthquake-proof Italy's greatest works of art is about to be tested here, in a laboratory just north of Milan. Engineers are installing it on a shake table that can simulate an earth tremor. This is a seismic isolation system. We can uh, protect not only uh, seismic, but any kinds of vibration. The idea is simple. Sculptures like this one with a high center of gravity are especially vulnerable. Even bolting it to the pedestal doesn't help. What the isolator technology does is dampen an earthquake's energy using slides and springs. The sharp buffeting caused by tremors, known as overload, is reduced to gentle movements. These devices uh, can reduce uh, the acceleration uh, that is transferred from the soil to the artifact. And in this way, also the seismic forces on the artifact are reduced. And and so the, the statue is protected from, uh, from earthquake. Milan is in a seismically stable part of Italy. It wasn't touched by the 2012 earthquake that hit some areas of the north. But when it comes to an irreplaceable work of art, no precaution is too much. Earthquake risk in Milan is uh, quite low, but is not zero. So if you consider that uh, this kind of uh, uh, artifacts, uh, statues, uh, uh, are supposed to have a very long life. Uh, during their life, uh, they could experience um, an earthquake even uh, of low intensity. So it's necessary to protect them. This shock absorbing technology was first pioneered by the J. Paul Getty Museum in California to protect its objects and to share with institutions around the world. In recent years, it's also been used to protect buildings and computer servers, especially in quake prone Japan. Today, it needs to show it can protect one of Italy's greatest treasures, the Rondanini Pietà, by the famed Renaissance artist Michelangelo. È una delle opere più celebri di Michelangelo. Non per la perfezione, ma al contrario, perché è incompiuta. Michelangelo ha lavorato a quest'opera che aveva probabilmente realizzato per se stesso fino agli ultimi giorni prima di morire. Un po' un suo testamento artistico e spirituale. Il pubblico contemporaneo è particolarmente suggestionato da questa dimensione dell'opera, perché è misteriosa. The seismic isolator is being installed now because the Pietà is getting a new home. It's being moved to a custom-made gallery in the same building where it's currently housed in Milan's Sforza Castle. But the statue's new location has a problem. Milan is a crowded city. The new position for Pietà Rondanini is closer to traffic and also there's the subway. All those cars and trains create vibrations that could damage the 450-year-old statue. The solution is to add another layer of protection, a series of rubber bumpers. The whole system behaves like a black box. It receives vibrations from the ground and the idea is to filter out these vibrations before they can reach the statue. As the stabilizer takes shape, it's time to unpack the statue. It's an exact replica of the Pietà, carved not by a human artist, but by a robot working from a 3D image. It's even made from marble quarry not far from where Michelangelo got his. It has to be as close as possible to the original for engineers to be confident the system will protect the real Pietà. The main problem here is the so-called rocking in which you can have the statue falling down uh, from the base and uh, respecting the right dimensions, the right uh, center of mass, the right uh, moment of inertia is essential for the success of the uh, whole project. With the statue mounted on top of the seismic isolator, everything is ready to go. The shake table comes to life. The statue is put through a series of eight simulated tremors, each 30 seconds long of escalating intensity. Engineers monitor the results every step of the way. A lot of sensors have been put on uh, all the elements making out the base first and uh, then the statue. So the idea is to reconstruct the path of these vibrations from the ground up to the head of the statue. The most powerful shaking comes at the end. 
It's twice as strong as what scientists believe could hit Milan sometime in the future. Finally, as the tremors die away, the statue is still standing, which counts as a success for the more than half dozen companies, Japanese and Italian, involved in the project. I'm quite satisfied with the tests in the sense that we tested an earthquake 200% the maximum earthquake expected in Milan and the statue survived. Of course, this doesn't mean uh, the project is over. There's still a lot to see. Data have to be analyzed to have a deeper understanding in what happened during these tests.